For me, directing Shakespeare plays, I find that it's been 22 productions for me so far, and what I discover is that like it was not the right time to do the Scottish play until this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Pericles I did you know, 15 years ago. They speak to me, different Shakespeare plays speak to me very personally at different times. The Winter's Tale is a play that I kind of think saved my life at a very bad time. I actually consider it you know, it was a play can change a life. That one changed mine. So, so you know, I'm not at the Lear stage yet. <laughs> <laughs> but, a, but a friend of mine who is 15 years younger than me, she's doing it right now, and God bless her. I'm just not there yet. But for me, it's a very personal thing, which uh, which Shakespeare play. I've been obsessed with Henry VIII for a long time. Um, I'm not quite sure why, but. Um, I'm dying to do it here soon, Mike. I know. <laughs> I've heard. Yeah. So we'll talk. <laughs> I was very influenced when I came here. I came at a, at, at, a, at a wonderful moment in the history of American theater because up at ART in Boston, uh, um, I saw Andre Serban's work. Mm. I saw Robert Wilson's work, new work, just first time ever, fresh as paint. I saw everything at Mabu Mines that that theater collective did in New York. I saw Richard Foreman's work. I was suddenly in this <clears throat> flux of real theatrical avant-garde that I also found thrillingly vital. And at the same time, there was, of course, never enough money to do a Shakespeare play. And so we started doing Shakespeare plays in clothes like this, mm -hmm. <laughs> which you know, everybody started doing about that time, but it did cause tremors for audiences. And I loved the uh, tension between the artificial language of Shakespeare, which of course leads to a deep, deep truth that naturalistic language can never touch, the tension between that sound and somebody speaking it that looked like we look, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, that, that buoyed me for a long time through uh, a lot of plays where I constantly investigated them in terms of the 20th century or the mm -hmm. moment we were in or, you know, or, or very recent history.